I'm uh, for watching TV Africa here in Columbus, Ohio, and the show called Startup. The purpose of this show is to highlight community organizations and businesses that are being successful, and not just that, but also to give them the opportunity to tell their story and how they started and how they've been able to serve here in our communities. And um, before the break, we were uh, with uh, Dr. Selassie, and he's still here. Uh, we're talking about ETSS and how it was founded. And uh, now I wanted to know from you, Doctor, yeah. uh, what are some of the services that ETSS is providing to, yeah. to the communities? Um, yes, uh, we had about more than <coughs> 17 services that we are providing for, okay. uh, for the new Americans. We serve over 47 countries right now, so. <coughs> or 47 countries from the Middle East, from um, um, Southeast Asia, and Latin America, and in the whole African continent. Yeah. So. The services that we are providing, we are focusing on education and employment. Mm -hmm. Because education is, as you know, is a key Correct. to succeed in your life and mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. And an employment is really the basic and the foundation for integration. So <coughs> the two are the most important mm -hmm. key mm -hmm. uh, programs, which is centered on families. It's Correct. a comprehensive program mm -hmm. that targeting the whole family, family the right. children, the elders, and the, the, the parents. <coughs> so based on that, number one, we have a youth development program mm -hmm. which provides, number one, after school tutoring. Right. Number two, um, cultural enrichment, enrichment where we mm -hmm. teach. See, the uniqueness of ETSS mm -hmm. is that, <coughs> you know, makes different from other services is mm -hmm. we provide services mm -hmm. both in English mm -hmm. and native language. Oh, okay. That's what's very attractive. Attractive, right. The parents are very, very well to know, you know, when they hear their language, mm -hmm. their children are speaking, speaking their and language. understand their mm -hmm. culture. Mm -hmm. That is really why now our numbers is doubled and tripled. Right. And we have a lot of waiting lists. Mm -hmm. So the cultural enrichment, nutrition and physical fitness programs, mm -hmm. um, and then we have the summer camp. Right. It's a very big program that you know, every summer we serve more than 300, 400 youngsters. Wow. <coughs> the after school program serves about about more than 300 mm -hmm. youngsters in mm -hmm. six locations. Wow. Um, because we have one on the northeast side mm -hmm. for the, the uh, our partners there, you know, for, uh, exclusively for the Somali community. We have um, one site on the north for the Bhutanese mm -hmm. Nepali community. Mm -hmm. We have another one on the north side for the Burmese community. Right. On the west side, uh, mostly for, for Somalis mm -hmm. and you know, Somali Bantus and some Hispanics. Correct. On the Hilliard area is for the mm -hmm. Afri for the Iraqi community mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the Latin American Latin community. Mm -hmm. The east side is mainly served the Ethiopian and Eritrean community. Okay. So, these are the six sites where we provide our after-school program and summer camp mm -hmm. programs. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, for the youth program, we have the mentoring and, and uh, mentoring men, mentoring our youngsters to okay. be responsible. responsible. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the leadership training, mm -hmm. college preparation, right. and also and the whole list of the youth mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. On the adult program, <coughs> we do have English as second language mm -hmm. for those who really want that language for a job. Right. Um, and then we have job readiness training, mm -hmm. uh, soft skills training. Mm -hmm. And, and then, of course, to find them a job and then follow up retention and case uh, management. Our case management is very comprehensive, helping right. them from finding transportation, finding home, mm -hmm. houses, and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. uh, we, the new program that we started is our family care. Right. The family care is more on domestic violence and then health and wellness programs that mm -hmm. we are providing. In addition to that, the other programs are the community events that right. we are doing, mm -hmm. social events that will come up as a new American festival, the, you know, all those different activities that right. promoting the culture and awareness of. Mm -hmm. So the whole, these programs are because our mission mm -hmm. is to assist mm -hmm. refugees and immigrants right. to improve the quality of their lives mm -hmm. through education, training, supportive services, and other development um, and, and working mm -hmm. areas. So, mm -hmm. you know, one is yes, improve their quality of services. Right. And second is integration, to mm -hmm. facilitate the integration to the neighbors that they are living so that, you know, Americans welcome our refugee immigrant community. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to be part of the welcoming community, mm -hmm. and create welcoming neighborhoods for, right. for our community. And the last in our mission is really promote the culture and heritage of refugee immigrant community. 
this. Right. So in general, the whole vision is mm -hmm. we want to be the focal point of integration mm -hmm. and help new Americans mm -hmm. to be a wealthy and self-reliant, wealthy and healthy new American community. And I, and I like and I like the approach which ETSS is taking <coughs> towards this whole thing because, as you said in your uh, conversation earlier, you said um, you were able to bring the community mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. to uh, the new American community to be so. able to uh, be integrated into the American system, but yeah. not losing their yes. culture. Yes, that's you know, which is always important because right, right, right. Um, any. Um, any community don't want to find themselves lost, mm -hmm. you know, in the American uh, system. Even the American system is a great thing, yeah. but they still want to be able to keep a part of a it, culture. and that is what makes America a beautiful exactly. country because exactly. because exactly. the variety of cultures, variety of people, variety of you know talents and everything, and, yeah. and this moves uh, the country exactly. forward. Now, one one thing that I would like to know, I know there's a lot of um, you have a lot of partners in what you're doing. And I don't think it can just happen overnight. One person yeah, cannot, yeah, or one organization yeah, cannot yeah, make all this yeah. thing happen. Exactly. And, and not just that, but also you need credibility. Mm -hmm. what, what had really uh, helped ETSS as far as, um, I know financially you are very, very accountable. Mm -hmm. And that has really brought a lot of trust, yeah. you know, for to bring other organizations into uh, to help you do what you do, you know, to support it, uh, the new American uh, community. Uh, what what really helps you as an organization to be acceptable? Yeah. Uh, what yeah. are some of the accolades that you receive and the uh, recognitions that you have? Yeah, I think um, that is what the key mm -hmm. for our success. Right is building partnership mm -hmm. and collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I have a good team, <coughs> very, very um, hard working, you know, because in, in for your growth and uh, to make your, your mission, vision, uh, you know, um, into reality, mm -hmm. you have to have a team who shares your vision. vision right. And the team that I, I brought together is really the foundation for the success of mm -hmm. the organization, mm -hmm. plus, the partnership and collaborations that right. we are making. We know it is, is all these successes that we talked about is not on Miss Leshi or, mm -hmm. or myself. Right. It is, you know, you cannot build something like this kind of an institute mm -hmm. without the help of others. Correct. Um, so my partners, uh, collaborators, mm -hmm. you know, they believe in um, what uh, we, are, we are working and doing and they see the vision mm -hmm. because you have to show them mm -hmm. really what the goals and what is your strategic direction correct, is. Correct. So when people see out, you know that that kind of vision share, mm -hmm. they will follow. They will work with you and, and, and you know share all the things that we have. So mm -hmm. <coughs> when we have about initially we have about four partners: the Burmese community, the Bhutanese Nepali community, the Somali Benadir, Somali mm -hmm. Band. We come together, you know, as a, as a service coalition. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we write grants together. Uh, we implement it too because the whole thing is that. We have the common need. The, the children need that kind of services. Mm -hmm. The families need. They don't care what what they want is really services to their community. Correct. That four, five organizations now grown to mm -hmm. eighteen. Last year we brought eighteen organizations together mm -hmm. and have a three-week uh, workshop on capacity building and leadership. Yeah. And then after that they came up with okay, let's come together and, and choose it as their umbrella organization mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the infrastructure is already here. Correct. The finance structure is well, the HR infrastructure, the data management, the Correct. program design. So mm -hmm. rather than creating their own, it's, 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 you cannot overnight build all those infrastructures. Yeah. So we formed the New Americans Collaborative, mm -hmm. Impact Collaborative actually. Mm -hmm. And since then, we celebrated last uh, August our first year. So. And now it grows to 27 organizations. Wow. So that means that people really you know come together to work mm -hmm. you know our team is always, always one voice one community mm -hmm. and that is our philosophy actually our name Tawahedo mm -hmm. means coming together as one this is one of the wow. ancient language of Africa Africa right. Ethiopia so mm -hmm. you know th that that's the center mm -hmm. we are one mm -hmm. let's come together and work together mm -hmm. for a common good right. for a collective community Amazing. impact right. awesome awesome and that you said it right, right yeah. in the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, now, um, what about somebody out there that may 
this is just out of there. Mm -hmm. Somebody out there that may think ETSS is not a fair presentation of the African community, yeah. and I, I've had it in some quarters. Yeah, yeah. Somebody says, ETSS cannot speak for us, they are just... What would you tell somebody like that? Right, right, right. Yes, um, even even when they see some of them, when they say Ethiopian, mm -hmm. uh, they think that we are only serving the, the current Ethiopian Ethiopia, community right. who are living most of them in the Ethiopian, in the, in the east side of uh, mm -hmm. Columbus. Or they think that, you know, Ethiopian to be the current political boundary of Ethiopia, our philosophy. Mm -hmm. When I choose that name to okay. be there in Tawahedut as a center, mm -hmm is I'm talking about the historical Ethiopia. Correct. I'm talking about the biblical Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about Ethiopia where the cradle of mankind Started. and his civilization. So yes. everybody under that, that Ethiopia is not belong only mm -hmm. to the current boundary of Ethiopia, Correct. sorry. Mm -hmm. It is a whole human race. race yeah. Embrace there, mm -hmm. come out from that country mm -hmm. and spread out. Correct. So. That is my really long range that I would like to teach, it, let alone Africans. Yes. Even as you know, you came from that, that's <laughs> your home. It pays your home. Yes. So it is with that philosophy really that mm -hmm. I started. But when I explained to them and what it means, mm -hmm. and plus, practically, mm -hmm. practically when we see our services, mm -hmm. um, for example, the, you know, the Ebola initiative that Correct. we did, Correct. we raised more than I think twelve thousand dollars mm -hmm. for our Ebola That's program good. sent back to Liberia and, and, yeah. and all Sierra Leone and others mm -hmm. means we you know we care about our African issues. Correct. And you can see from all the programs that we are serving, mm -hmm. all the Somalis, all the, the Congolese community, mm -hmm. the West African Mauritanian Correct. community, the, the Ghanaians, you know, you can name it mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. you know and also you can see from the, the Iraqi communities and uh, different Middle East and uh, you know, Southeast Asian people, ETSS proves itself mm -hmm. beyond it is it is name for some Correct. that as if uh, where you're serving on mm -hmm. ETPS. No. Practically if you see our staff mm -hmm. combination, <coughs> you can find from Africa, mm -hmm. from Asia, uh, from from Latin America, okay. and then even the, the combination, Jewish, Christian, Islams, non believers and all mm -hmm. really I am pleased with the diversity of our staff, mm -hmm. the diversity of our people, the clientes yeah. that we are serving, the diversity of our partners, mm -hmm. and that's what it is, is is really becoming now. Everybody wants to be around <laughs> us, and uh, we, we want to be because we all humans are the same. Correct. That's our philosophy, Correct. and for we have to work for the common good, mm. for our oneness. Mm. That is the whole philosophy. It right. is is what the Now the name ETSS definitely has become synonymous with the new American or mankind. Exactly. And it brings everybody, exactly. it embraces every culture, people right. from different culture, exactly. from different backgrounds exactly. and different um, different beliefs. Yeah. Um, we'll be taking a quick break, okay? And when we come back, there is something that is gonna happen here in Columbus this weekend, which I like, I'm not worthy to talk a lot more about it, but Dr. Slash is gonna talk about this event. This event has happened in the past a couple of about five years now, and um, it's, it's growing, it's getting bigger and bigger. And I'm gonna give Dr. Slassi some time to really highlight on what the, what is gonna happen this weekend here in Columbus, Ohio. So don't touch that dial, we'll be right uh, coming back, and uh, we'll be talking a lot more with Dr. Hill.